First of all, I want to give an apology because I'm going to be running out soon, not because this meeting is not important, because there's another meeting that's important, because <laughs> I have a shear later on, followed by another meeting, um, which was a prior commitment. I it's really a, a very momentous um, event happening over here. There's a phrase which is used a lot. It's actually not a pasuk, although a lot of people think it's a pasuk, but it's brought, quoted a lot in Chassidus, and the, the Rabbeim refer to it as a pasuk. It's a pisgum. It consists of two pasukim, and that's probably why, why people refer to it as a pasuk. The voice of the hamoinam, of the crowd, is like the voice of Hashem. So the voice... There's this, that phrase, Lahavit in Latin too, but the voice that's coming from the community is the most important voice. And the way the Rebbe set up our Kehillah, in contrast to, I believe, almost any other Kehillah, that it's what we call Melmata Lamaila. That the community, right in the beginning when we're talking about elections, it was all about Shaykh Latoish Veyashkuna. What does the community say? The community's voice is very important. And we have over here a sample representative. I know it's not the entire community, I don't think it would fit in this place. But we have a sample representative from every shul which brings us to hear the koil hamoyin, to hear the voice of the community. In many, many sikhs, the Rebbe talks about the difference between a asifa and a hakel. Coming on the heels of shnas hakel, it's uh, something that we think of very conscious of. Asifa means many people get together. And they c even could be getting together for the same cause. But there are a bunch of individuals that got together. A kohol, the Rebbe talks about vayakel moshe, a call means where everybody got together and lost their identity in order to become part of the call. And that's one of the difficulties that we often have. You want to retain the advantage of being an independent because if you don't want to have that advantage, let just one person make decisions for everyone. The idea is that everybody comes with another viewpoint. But they're they're, as they're doing that, they want, they're losing their identity because they want to become part of the entire big call. I know that in La Havdal, in the business world, they have a concept, when they make meetings, they have this concept called OPV. OPV means other person's view. So you have to stop and see if you could understand where the other person comes from. And then they have this other concept of Havdal in the Goyesha world, where you, they give you different thinking hats. I don't know if people are familiar with this concept. We used to do it a lot in, in schools and education. And now you have to put on a, a creative thinking hat. Don't, don't knock his idea. Now we're all being creative. Now we're going to reject all the ideas. So often when we sit together in Asifa, this, everything that everybody says has value. The question is where it has value. Some ideas only have value in Elam Atzilus. And some ideas, how come you never look? And some ideas, some ideas have value in Elam Asiya. Some ideas have value in Elam Asiya only in one part of the community. And some ideas have value in Elam Asiya, gosh, for the entire community. And everybody's voice has to be heard. And when we know this from the Torah, so also, what's the worst thing to happen for you in the Torah? Not the psak, because everybody's upset at the psak in the end, <laughs> whether you won or you lost. But the one thing that at least you want to feel is, I was heard. And the person walks out from the turn and he says, but they didn't even hear what I had to say. <laughs> so as some Dayanim say, listen, keep on talking. The clock is ticking, the meter is going. <laughs> Talk as long as you want. But some of the things you're saying are totally not relevant to the Torah. The fact whether he, whether he told you, Agut Morgan, Agut Anach, <laughs> that's not really relevant. So people's voice is very, very important. And the purpose of this meeting tonight is to have the koil moin, to have the people's voice. And later to take this people's voice and translate it to action. Now often in the meeting, your opinion will become batal b'rayv, but my nafkimina. You voice your opinion, and then we follow the rayv. And once we follow the rayv, like we know from the Raga Chavar, when it comes to a bezdin, that there's three ifanim had to learn shot in the bezdin, and one of the ifanim is that it, all the three, it's not as if two had an opinion and the third one was in his battle. It becomes the voice of everyone. So when the call gets together and forms elections and forms committees, this becomes the whole entire call. It's not as if it's only from, and I had a different opinion. No, you're part of that opinion also. Like the Rebbe always talks about a Zeichel Begoidel. The Zeichel Begoidel is not him. He's representing the entire Kehillah. The final decision is representing the entire Kehillah. And that's how a Kehillah could, and that's the Kehillah that the Rebbe gave us. And we saw something, the Rebbe said this many, many times about the gate to the Kehillah of Kranai. It's a tzav kal tzav, this will be a Kehillah where Shalom will reign. And the Velt makes a joke and says, Talmid Chacham Marab Mishalom Leilam is a Medrash Plia. But, but our, we, we've seen in our killer in a lot of instances where there was 
where there were differences between people, I think was mentioned earlier also, the differences were in Yonam Shal Mabakach. In almost every single situation, I don't want to talk about the elephants in the room about last night, and that's another example of that, where really 99% of the differences, I'm talking about in the higher ups, <laughs> Kleinikite, Namish, but people have to be able to be prepared to listen to what we spoke, OPV. Which be matzlich and should be as if the Rebbe will, the Rebbe's Ratzon, the Rebbe's Ratzon, Sof Chol Sof, the Crown Heights is mashpia in the entire world. The Rebbe spoke a sicha and was magia the sicha that every pula of doing in Crown Heights of Achdus of Asiya Shalom has a pula on the whole entire world. So we we can't underestimate the value that we can accomplish. And this will come to the ultimate Shalom in the entire world. Regard Zevim Keves, which I say that I'm just going to finish with the most of the bdichas. That um, there was a yid called Rebbe Real Tzimmer Al Vashalm. He went around from Rebbe to Rebbe to Rebbe, and eventually he landed here. He translated Tani Yiddish. He was a brilliant individual. He was a, a waste of talent. <laughs> he wasn't used enough. <laughs> Anyhow, he, this Rebbe Real Tzimmer went to the Sat, he went once to the Bioilish, the Satan Rebbe, and he had, came with a proposal. And he came later with the same proposal to the Rebbe. So he later said that the Satan Rebbe and the Labavitch Rebbe, they both said the same answer. But they worded very, very differently. <laughs> he had this idea to make a sif of all Adamoidim in the whole entire world and all Rabbanim. So he came to the Satan Rebbe, the Satan Rebbe said, No, but Shingat the first world, Machama. Shingat the second world, Machama. You will make the third world, Machama. That was what the Satan Rebbe told him. He, he came to the Rebbe and he told the Rebbe the same idea. And the Rebbe told him, No, so Nachish Gikum the Zeit and the Gar Zevim Keves. So he said, The Satan Rebbe, speaking about the Holocaust, the Rebbe speaking about Mashiach. They said the same idea. We have <laughs> seen in our kill of Baruch Hashem, we can, can accomplish almost of a Gar Zevim Keves because the Zev is not really a Zev anyhow. And we could actually bring about so many different people together. And, you know, one of the best stories I have, I think I said about the Mishpat Shalom thing, and I'll finish with that, that had two people came from the Torah. And there was a scheduling problem. <laughs> I, I misunderstood them. Probably my fault, not their fault. They told me, you said you're going to be in the office at this and this time. I said, no, it's supposed to be tomorrow. Yeah, Kids, are, are you coming? Uh, you know what? I, I I felt bad for these parties. I said, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming soon. Okay. At the time I came, they told me they settled it themselves while they were waiting. So they shall say, thanks.